10 Ways Naruto Made Sasuke a Better Person Throughout the series, Naruto has never once given up on Sasuke. Because of this, he helped his character grow and made him a better person overall. At a young age, Sasuke lost his clan after his older brother Itachi massacred the Uchiha clan. This made Sasuke the only survivor, and he went from being a relatively happy child to a much darker one. After graduation, Sasuke was assigned to Team 7 along with a couple of his classmates. He may have originally thought Sakura and Naruto would hold him back, but he eventually becomes quite close to his teammates. Despite thinking of Naruto as a total loser, Sasuke began to think of Naruto as his equal. Naruto would then inspire Sasuke to be a better person in a variety of ways. 10. Naruto helped Sasuke look beyond his painful past. After Sasuke lost his family, he felt alone. His loneliness and pain drove him to do extreme things, and he even left his village in the name of revenge and spoke of reshaping the whole world. Naruto was one of the few people who could understand where he was coming from. Naruto had his own dark past, he knew exactly what it was like to grow up without a family, and his insight gave him a unique ability to relate to Sasuke and encourage Sasuke to move forward. 9. Naruto always encouraged Sasuke to do the right thing. Naruto always tried to get Sasuke to do the right thing. When Sasuke wanted to destroy the village, Naruto tried to reason with him. When Sasuke went to fight Shin, Naruto suggested that he go easy on their young opponents. Naruto was always trying to get Sasuke to make better choices in life. Sasuke had spent years ignoring Naruto. But he tends to pay more attention to Naruto's words in the sequel series, Boruto. 8. Naruto never gave up on Sasuke. After Sasuke left the village, Naruto spent a lot of time trying to find him. He had promised Sakura that he would make sure Sasuke returned to Konoha. Naruto finally got the reunion he hoped for in the Valley of the End. Naruto fought with his friend and lost, and Sasuke continued down the dark path where he longed only for power. However, Naruto continued to try and reach out to him, and he never gave up on Sasuke. As an adult, Sasuke feels like he owes Naruto for all those years of loyalty. 7. Naruto led Sasuke to redemption. Naruto repeatedly stated that he would find a way to save Sasuke. He assured Itachi that he wasn't just going to let Sasuke die. When Naruto stepped up to fight Sasuke for the last time, the fate of the world lay in the balance. The two were once again fighting at the Valley of the End. Once again, Naruto was trying to reach out and redeem Sasuke. Naruto sacrificed his arm to reach Sasuke. In the end, Sasuke was willing to admit his mistakes. 6. Naruto trusted Sasuke when others did not. Some people in Konoha do not trust Sasuke. Sasuke had done some bad things in his past, and some people refuse to see that he has changed. Shikamaru is one of Naruto's most trusted advisors. Shikamaru distrusts Sasuke and believes Naruto is too idealistic to see the downside of trusting Sasuke. Naruto trusts Sasuke completely. Even when others refuse to see the good in him. 5. Naruto always stood beside Sasuke in a fight. Sasuke had gotten used to being on his own. He grew up in a village that put a lot of emphasis on teamwork and standing together as a unit. Sasuke had worked with many shinobi over the years, but he also had a lot of experience standing independently. Naruto and Sasuke displayed a profound ability to work together on the battlefield. Even when they were young, they seemed to work together intuitively. Naruto and Sasuke always have each other's back in a fight, and Sasuke appreciated having someone stand beside him, even after everything he's done. 
4. Naruto encouraged Sasuke to spend time with his family. Sasuke spends great lengths of time away from the village. As a result, he doesn't get to see his family very often. Naruto understands having to put his job above spending time with his family. Naruto encourages Sasuke to spend time with Sakura and Sarada, even though Sasuke comes across as dismissive of the idea. Naruto forces Sasuke to spend time with his family and he brings Sarada to a scheduled meeting with her father. From then on, Sasuke spends more time with his family. 3. Naruto gave Sasuke a chance to give back. Asuma realizes the importance of the next generation. He teaches his team how the importance of the next generation. Shikamaru can pass the advice on to Naruto after the loss of Jiraiya. Sasuke owes a lot to Naruto. It must mean a lot to Sasuke to get the chance to give back to Naruto in some way. When Sasuke agrees to help train Naruto's son, he is given the perfect ability to return some of Naruto's previous kindness. Sasuke is also embodying the teaching of those 2. Naruto allowed Sasuke to make up for the past. Sasuke is given the essential job of helping to keep the village safe. While Sasuke is away, he is searching for information on the Atsutsuki and other possible enemies of the Leaf Village. He can keep everyone safe from a distance. Some might not allow Sasuke to go on such an important mission, but Naruto's status as Hokage allows him to advocate for Sasuke. Sasuke's mission gives him a chance to make up for his past actions. 1. Naruto gave Sasuke a chance to have a future. At one point, Sasuke planned to make himself a hated figure. He planned on standing against the many villages. He wanted to be the thing that unified the shinobi. He planned to stand as their enemy. When Naruto heard this, he refused to let his friend retreat into loneliness. When Naruto managed to get Sasuke to see the error of his ways, he also allowed Sasuke to build a future for himself. Sasuke got to see his clan reborn through his marriage and the birth of his daughter. Sasuke has a home to return to because of Naruto.